Hey guys, um, Happy Ostara. Um, today I want to bring for Witches for Wellness as well as my Wicca Gym that uh, I want to bring this video to. It is uh, one of my room candle cleansing spells. It's pretty simple. The ingredients is right there in front of your face um, <laughs> on the screen. What you need to do is clean the room, first of all, physically clean the room. And please take a lot of allergy medicine if you have allergens. Um, you want to tidy up the room, kind of put things away, clean up off the floor. And uh, if you want to go intensive cleaning, like as in grab the windows, do everything you can. Uh, anything that is considered <coughs> clean in your eyes, if it's cleaned. Um, what you need is a plate, preferably, unless you want to pick up salt off the floor. You want some salt, um, a candle holder, a candlestick. Um, it could be this length, a nine inch right here, or, um, or uh, preferably between three inches up to nine inches. You don't want a pillar candle, you don't want a birthday candle, you don't want uh, tea light candles. You really don't want those, but if that's what you have, then, then use what you have. And a lighter. Um, uh, it's best to use lighters compared to, for this spell, it's best to use lighters compared to um, uh, matches because sulfur, the smell of sulfur, and the whole point is to air out your whole entire room, is to air out everything. So. All right. So what you need to do is put your candle in a candle holder, put it on a plate, set it preferably near the middle of the room. Um, I usually put mine right here on the edge of my bed. It's almost the middle of my room. You want to pour salt distal, which means clockwise. So you want to go around a circle right like this. And you want to make a preferably nice circle. And um, what I do is I never ever wipe this way. Because then you just totally, de totally ruin the whole function of the spell. But if I pour, like as, as you see, I pour a lot on this side on accident. And there's less on the side. What I do is I use my fingers. Sweep it. Sweep the salt. Around. Plus, it gives that personal touch. Then you get crumbs. All right, you. Um, you don't need a. If you want, you can add um, oils to your to the candle if you want. Um, try to resist on using incense smokes for this type of room cleansing, and uh, um, because the whole point is to use the fire element. The whole point is using fire element as as your main thing with a little bit of earth. You want to burn away the energies. You want to burn away the negative energies that you don't want in, in the room. And this is preferably like for bedrooms. Um, you want to do one for a living room. You want to do one for um, you want to do one for the bathroom. You want to do one for you know each room. This is not more of a you burn it and it spreads out through the house. You want to burn this. And um, and you don't want to take this room to room. You don't want to absorb negative energy into this candle and then take it to another room and it kind of just leaks out. You kind of want to burn it. So, you want to burn this candle for approximately at least an hour. Least an hour. Um, what I do is I buy this type of candle, I burn it, um, and I'll be presently in the room and I would basically just read a book in the room or uh, I'll start cleaning the, the windows and stuff. Never leave your candle lit on fire unattended because the chances are, see how close it is kind of to my bed a little bit, but still I see there's like literally a hand weight. You can kind of push it in the more. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle. But you want to preferably have it close to the middle. You want to pour the salt, and um, I'll, write, I'll type. I'll put the chant in the the description, the sidebar. I'll put the the chant in there, uh, the directions, of course, so you guys can copy this and put in your book of shadows, like I did. <laughs> All right.
you want to light the candle let it kind of torch a little and yes this is a homemade candle you want to get that see how it kind of like kind of gives that little blue some yellow and some a uh, little bit of red shine that's when you know it's officially started um, and you want to say this creature of wax creature of fire listen to me hear my desire Cleanse this room by the power of three, and bless away all negativity. With harm to none, so shall it be. And uh, if you want to visualize this a little more, you can visualize, uh, you can sit next to this candle and visualize every little negative, little demonic, little ugly, little nasty, little poopy smelling energy you, uh, you'll um, visualize it as this fire draws it as you know how the incense smoke goes near the fire it goes towards it and goes up visualize it the the negativity going to the candle like the light the candlelight in the darkness and let the fire just consume it burn it like a like a moth to the flames effect and um, what I do I just let the candle burn out all the way to the ground um, I let it burn all the way to the candle and after that, um, I take the salt, flush it down the toilet, or I would rinse it down the sewer, or sprinkle it somewhere else, away from property. Kind of like push it away from property and let let it recycle into the earth. Because, um, because if you're gonna do this, like I did this, and then I'm gonna go to the next room and do another one, I want a fresh batch of candle and a fresh batch of salt. Because what happens is the negative energy is going to be attracted to the flame. The salt's going to ground it, going to snatch it, going to grab it, the earth. It's going to grab it, take it down, and the flame's going to burn it away. So it's kind of like, kind of like a multi of flames. Um, for added effects, you can add oil to your candle if you want. Some good cleansing oil. Uh, cypress is good. Um, lavender is really good. And of course, I'm going to say lavender. Um, anything that smells very clean, like or, uh, narrow oil or uh, orange blossom, something fresh, something springy. And you can do this at any time of the season, any time of the moon, because it really, all moon is cleansing besides the new moon. New moon's more of an inner working, more like studying more. Um, you can, you can use your broom after you do this. You can take your bosom and sweep around the whole entire room if you want, or whatnot. But I thought I'd show you this. Um, and let me show you my outfit too. White. I don't wear white. White is a sinner. <laughs> white is for sin. You don't wear white. But, yeah. So I thought I could show you guys this nice uh, room candle cleanse. Um, and it's a really awesome spell. Um, I got it offline. And uh, I don't know who it is really. But I ended up uh, changing a couple of the chants. Changing a couple of the...